Hey guys, it's Alex. I'm here to share with you a couple of projects that I've made during the past couple weeks and they've been sitting on my desk. So I thought it's time to put them in video. So here you go. My first one is this card and it's a five and a half by five and a half and I use for the base the 110 pound recollection cardstock. Um, then I used this paper for the project and I cut this layer and distressed the borders with my Tim Holtz distress tool. I did the same thing with this other layer. Um, then I used a doily here that I cut in half so that it would you would be able to see it from underneath the die. Um, so I cut that and then I used this die. It's um uh, oh my goodness, I think it's a Tim Holtz. No, it's actually a Spellbinders. Um, it's a Spellbinders that. And I raised it with Fun Foam. And then here's my image. And I watercolor her with my distressed markers. I put a bunch of stickles. But these are the, the ch with a chunky glitter. And I did the same thing with her skirt. And a little bit on her little tiara um, again she's raised with fun foam um, these flowers are wild orchid crafts as well as the leaves these pink ones are recollections and then these sprays I get the sprays at Joann's um, every time there's like a change of season they they come with like a bunch of different sprays there's like the spring ones and then there's fourth of july and so i always get them and then you could always get them on sale so even better and then i use these two um metal corners that i painted with just acrylic paint and then the inside is just blank so that's my card and then i made this mini album um i had made another one also a few weeks ago and I followed a tutorial from Sa Crafters that I don't remember if I linked it on my last video but I'll make sure to link it into this one um, so the the album size is six by six and here's the spine and I used this um, trim and it came it's recollections and it came in a little spool in different colors um, so I used that and then some pearls for my stash and the paper that I used is from a paper pad that I got at Tuesday morning and it was a long time ago I don't even know if you guys remember but there was like a, a long time ago they had these um, six by six paper pads that were $1.29 and they came in like a ton of different styles so that's one of them. Um, I put some dew drops in the corners. I didn't want to add like enamel dots and stuff because the pattern is busy as it is already. So I was like, no, I'll just do these clear ones. I mean, it still adds a little detail, but it doesn't, you know, it's not too much, I guess. And then these are some recollection flowers that I just layered. And these, the centers, these are stickers from Dollar Tree. Then this is a little frame from Michaels. And then the inside, Velcro closure. The inside, I created a pocket. These flowers are from those little baggies that you get also at Michaels from the dollar section. And I used a smaller version of those Dollar Tree stickers they are kind of glittery the paper is fun so I figured you know I use this and again those dew drops here they kind of blend in but then again you know they're like you could see that they're there so I created these tags with my what are my Sissix, Sissix dies and then this side again those Michaels flowers and more of the Dollar Tree stickers and then here's the Dew drops, and then when you open it, is the picture parts, I guess. <laughs> so, this is originally what she had made. She had her waterfall on this side, and then the center portion was um, 
just free clear so I guess you could have made like a pocket or maybe put a bigger picture but I decided to add another waterfall just to you know have more space for for pictures and then you close it and here's the side and here's the back and that's it guys um, these are my two little projects um, hope you guys like them and thanks for watching bye